Good morning. Uh, I'm Peter L. Mark. I'm 25 and I write emails for people. Great. Perfect. Um, so why don't you tell us why am I here today? Wow. Um, why are you here? Why am I here? Wow. In your bio, you do say that you are uh, Kalmorg's number what? one. Kalmorg. No. Kalmorg. Kalmorg. If you were to use a letter on the IPA, what would that be? I don't drink IPAs. And what are the origins of the, uh, of the instrument? Ah, um, well, you know, it's obviously tough to have historical documents about an invisible instrument, but from the best we know, we can trace it to Scandinavia, where the Ikeas are. A discovery of the Skjalmur will make this very important in the history of Scandinavian literature. So the Skjalmur was originally a covenant between Odin and Freya, in their holy matrimony many years ago. Now today it has been missing for many years and we are very excited that this artifact could tell us much about the history of Scandinavian mythology over many years. Would you say that academia is inclined to believe Elmarch? Well, again, that isn't happening yet. We still need to get an independent researcher up there to the University of Lodbrok to discover this for ourselves. I think that there's a lot to still be said about it. Sorry, um, I get a little distracted sometimes. It's just, isn't it so magical? Magical is one word to use, I suppose. You don't believe him then? I mean, I don't know, he's my best friend. Does what I think even matter? So you don't believe him? I don't know. If you don't believe him, then what do you think this is all about? Um, fame? Attention? He's not that kind of guy. He, he really cares about this thing. These are the, um, the tuning nozzles. Um, down here are the, the well, the, the closest equivalents would be, um, would be keys, I guess. Um, here is the mouth, the mouthpiece. Um, the pipes, of course, up here. Uh, if it were to be compared to a non-invisible instrument, perhaps acoustically, uh, where would, where would it fall in that sense? It's, it's family? It's an only child. So you found it at... Jim Swain's antique sim, is that right? Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, it's, it's crazy because that's like right down the street from me. Hello, is this Jim Swain's residence? I'm Allison Henry, a documentary filmmaker, and I was wondering if we could talk to you about a product that you sold recently. Is that thing on? Oh, uh, no, we were just filming kind of the walk up to the door, kind of- I can see the lights here. on right now. Turn that thing off right now. Get that out of my fucking okay. face. Okay, turn it off, Derek. Turn it off. So you can see it. No, I mean, it's an instrument of the gods. Of course, but you can hear it. This piece is one of the classics.
So you can neither hear nor see the instrument. Can you sense it some other way? I mean, as I said before, the, the Xiaomog transcends all of uh, our... But have you never doubted? What, what are you implying? Well, since um, none of us can see or hear it... I was... you're, you're asking whether I thought my fiancé is crazy. Well, I was wondering whether there was... Do you think he's, he's made this all up, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that was, that's great. Incredible, thank you so much, thank you so much. Oh, that, uh, that was beautiful. There's a lot left. No, no, I think that really got the message across. I, thank you so much. You liked it? Loved it, loved it. I am trying to remain impartial. <laughs> impartial, sure. I, I just, why are, I just want an honest answer from you, Julie. You want honest? I, I think you came here because you think my, my PD is delusional and wouldn't it be so funny to make a documentary about the lunatic who... You know what? Stop it! Stop! Give me my mug back! I, I retract my consent to this documentary. I'm impartial my ass!